Hey developers, today we are gonna look at my VS Code setup. We're gonna take a look at some extensions and some things you guys should know about. Hey, and I know you guys love VS Code themes and extensions, so I'm gonna take a look at mine. We're gonna look at some of the ones that you guys have told me that I should check out. I'm gonna do some live looking at these extensions and tell you what I think. And maybe we'll settle once and for all what the best VS Code theme of all time is. I personally like Synthwave 84, but maybe I'll change my mind in this video. Let's begin. Developers, today's video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is an in-person coding and design bootcamp that offers housing for full-time students at no extra cost. They have programs that are between six and 16 weeks long, including web dev, iOS, software QA, and UX design. Dev Mountain loves hearing from program with Eric subscribers, so make sure you click on that link in the description if you or someone you know is ready to dive into coding. So once again, make sure you click on that link in the description and you can learn more about Dev Mountain. Thanks. All right, let's take a look at my VS Code and I'll show you the setup that I use. So if you don't remember, I did this video a little while back and I talked about the best VS Code theme ever. And you know, I truly think Synthwave 84 is probably one of the best, if not the best theme for VS Code, but you guys definitely did not agree. I got hundreds of comments. Everyone, uh, I think a lot of people like this theme, but there's so many other themes that people recommended that I try. So I thought I would go ahead and, and try these and talk to you guys about them and I'll tell you which ones I like and which ones I don't like. I think just Synthwave 84 is pretty cool because of just the glowing text. I know some people said that it gave them a headache, but I don't know, I think it's it's pretty neat overall. So here's my VS Code setup, and just to give you an idea, I use Fira Code, and that is the font that I use. I use ligatures, which kind of adds this nice thing where, let's take a look here. Uh, if you do equal, 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 it kind of combines the equal into together. I think I saw it here somewhere. Right here, you see it like equal, 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 it combines it together. You know, it's little things like that make the font a little bit nicer. And then I use fire code. I use a couple of different, uh, quite a few different extensions. The, the one I use the most is the Vim extension. So if you look over here, I have this Vim extension installed, which may, allows me to do the Vim key bindings in VS Code. Now it's not perfect, it definitely, um, sometimes has issues, but you know, I really enjoy it. It really works well for me and they even give you a, a few uh, ideas of what you should set in your in your settings JSON to make it even a better experience, which I haven't really done too much of this So let's take a look at the different themes that you guys recommended now I think um, out of everyone's suggestions everyone told me that I should look at um, of a few of these themes. Almost everybody, a, a ton of people said I should look at this one, which is, let me take a look at it here, One Dark Pro. So I think this is a, a pretty popular theme. Um, I can, here it is. You know, I mean, just looking at it right now, I, I could definitely see the, the appeal of it. It's really clean. It gives a little bit of a backlit to the background. Um, it has this grays, r oranges, red colors. It's, it's not glowing in your face that might give you a headache, like some people said with the synth wave. So, you know, I could definitely see the appeal of this theme here. Um, I, you know, definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Another really popular one, that's One Dark Pro that I just looked at. Uh, a few other popular ones that people mentioned was Cobalt 2. This is essentially the West Boss theme. If you look at the extension and type in West Boss, or excuse me, tap in Cobalt 2, it's the official West Boss theme. And honestly, I think I knew this, but I totally forgot that he had an official theme. And so you can be just like West Boss. And it, in all fairness, this is a great looking theme. And he also has his own recommended settings of how he sets all his cursor weights and the widths and line heights. He uses a special font called Operator Mono, which gives you that kind of cursive look. 
in some of these areas. I think fire code is pretty good and kind of looks sort of like, uh, sort of looks like the his operator mono, but obviously not all places. So if you really want to look like West Boss and 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 do that, I would recommend that. Also, it says enable custom CSS and JS to do it. So that's that's another one a lot of people recommended and and. And yeah, it's 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 good looking, you know, nice green here. Let's see, another one. I installed a bunch of these that I I I decided to install a bunch of these just to kind of look at a lot of them. There is uh, a few people mentioned Noctus Uva, which is kind of like a purple theme. I don't know, looks okay. Uh, it's not too bad. Then uh, Monik Monikai Pro was another one I saw a lot and has this kind of yellow, kind of this yellow theme with this background. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know what's the right word, maybe summer, I, I, I don't know. You know, definitely, I, I think it looks pretty nice. Let's see here, what else? I'm gonna go back to the, to the comments. Uh, Nord was one of them and K and Horizon. So let's take a look at those. So K Dark, this is one of them. I, I like this as a little black, a black background. Um, really bright colors here. I kind of like that. And let's see here. Let's look at Nord. And Nord is here. You know, a little bit lighter background. I don't know if I love this. Uh, it's definitely something I could see myself not using, <laughs> just just right off the bat. There was a, a, a few ones that were like super dark that actually I sort of liked. And I wanna say one of them is, oh, this is Zenburn, another few people recommended this one. Kinda don't like it when it's too bright like this. I don't know. It just doesn't. It's not perfect for me. I don't like that. But let's see the other one. One dark pro. Let's see. Let me take a look here. I'll make sure that I link to this YouTube video and some of the suggestions other people put in the description below. If you guys have more themes you want me to look at, I've kind of just only mentioned a handful here. Let me know in the comments really like to know what you guys think are the best Visual Studio Code themes out there. But I'm really, I think this is really cool. We got so many people, so many different VS Code themes here that I was able to try out. I had no idea these existed. And definitely be changing it up as time goes on. So let me know. Thanks.